Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus, joining you for our learning and teaching session for case number 19. And let's keep the ball rolling. But before we do so, let me first congratulate the members of Batch 2023 from Pangasinan State University Bayambang Campus for so far posting 100% pass rate on the next generation NCLEX RM. And here are their names. We have Sherna J. Pinson, Liza Joyce B. Alakdis, Eunice Faith B. Bueno, and Elizabeth C. Corpus. Congratulations to all of you, and may you inspire your batchmates to do the same as what you did. Share to them your success recipe. And before we do so, I'd like to ask you to join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses every year. We actually have increased this to 300 scholarship um, slots. And to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. And thank you so much for doing so. Thank you for this anonymous lady who gave 20,000 pesos to keep our scholarship program Going. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart, from your, from the bottom of my heart, from your Ray A. Gapos Review System family. Now, I'd just like to make this public advisory, Dr. Ray Gapos, that's me, and the mentors of the Ray A. Gapos Review System are not part of another center named Gapos Review or Gapos Review Academy. So if you want to avail of our complete review package, please do look for my complete name. It's supposed to be the Ray A. Gapos Review System. And if you don't see anyone in us in your class, that's not a Ray Gapos System class. And at this point in time, we have a promo. Get a free review from us if you process your NCLEX RN application with ITAPS Gapus. ITAPS Gapus is the official test applications processing service provider of the Ray A. Gapus Review System. And we have one of those who processed with us and eventually passed the test, Ryan Liz O. Ramirez, who passed the New York Board of Nursing last June 21. 2024. Thank you, Lord, for always making things possible in your time. To Itax Gapus, heartfelt thanks, especially to Miss Ace. She was always there to assist and address all my concerns. I rescheduled my exam three times, pero sobrang patient niya. Minsan makulit po ako. But still, she was so accommodating and I appreciate it so much. Nakakabawas ng stress and anxiety kasi alam mo, inaayos nilang request mo. Salamat talaga. I highly recommend ITAPS Gapos in processing your NCLEX journey. Thank you and more power as well as God bless. Okay, remember at ITAPS Gapos, we process your NCLEX application faster and at a more affordable cost because our packages starts at 45,000 pesos and you have a free NG and review with me if you process with ITAPS Gapus. So on to next generation NCLEX are in case number 19. And this time around, we're going to talk about methicillin resistant staphylococcus our use or MRSA, or sometimes they call this um, in simple terms, MRSA. Okay, but before we do so, let me congratulate Pearly Grace Bikasan of the University of Baguio for passing the next generation NCLEX RN for the state of New York last August 16, 2024. And let's learn from her success recipe. And here it goes. Sabi niya, Alice, wala akong time to read all the past math tests, but of course, it all did help. I don't feel like taking the exam yet kasi feeling ko it's not enough. Papo talaga. But I needed two kasi till August 20 na lang po valid ang ATT ko. So she was having rough journey because she has very limited time. I booked a three nights, four days stay in a hotel near Trident. Sabi ko tatapusin ko lahat ng TOP na walang distorbo, but I was not able to. I am there so anxiously listening as well as nagtitake down notes at nagtitop pa din at the same time during the online quick fix new post array, August 14 to 16, till I need to prepare na for my exam ng 4.30 of the 16th at di ko na alam kung gumagana pa ang brain cells ko during those times. So I even pray harder. I submitted all to God and this is it. Wala na akong magagawa. I need to go to Trident Tower now. After the exam, umabot po ako ng 150 questions. Ayoko mag-isip at ayoko tanungin sa ITAPS Gapus or sa RAGS Baguio 
if when ang result. I just accidentally open our AGRS messenger kanina umaga lang, August 20, without a message. Pero nangumusta po kayo, lakas ng loob ko na lang pong tinanong if ilang days po ang result. Then yun na po, nag-congrats na po kayo. Tapos di ko alam if totoo at nangulit pa ba ako talaga kung true yun. Sana wala pong bawihan. Okay. And sabi nga nila, ask and it will be given to you. Seek ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that ask will receive and he that seek will find. And to him that knock it shall be opened. So this is what she says. Firstly, I thank God above all for his faithfulness and for him leading to RAGRS. Honestly, I prayed for questions that I may have tackled more. Situational questions that I may have mastered at least. And for him to stay beside me during the exam. I believe he was. I admit I was not able to conquer the whole of the old and new and to extreme on one, nor the pharmacology and the others, nor the comprehensive. I even became so exhausted and so sleepy during the boot camp. Though I failed to inculcate all into my rusty brain, I had written things for highlights. I also Googled to expand, lalo na yung nakakalimutan ko sa review or sa POP, na just like what you have said, survey parang identify what's effective to you. Na parang what works for others does not work for you. So that's a very important lesson. Don't try to mimic what others are doing. Don't try to use what others are using. Discover what works best for you. That's always my recommendation. Basta parang ganun po. So I focus more on POP. I feel like I need to familiarize with how to approach questions. Then sa mga di ako familiar na cases, I search back. At work, when the day was not tough, I had my laptop to the TOP on my bed at home. TOP na ang pampatulog ko. When doing household chores, ulit, ulit po ako sa TikTok videos nyo, sa YouTube nyo po. Wala na po talaga akong ginawa kundi tapusin po yun. Okay? So, in a nutshell, her success recipe may not be perfect because she wasn't able to finish everything, but she had a little of everything from the system. And that, I think, is what worked for her. Okay? So, and she says, lastly, again, to God be all the glory. Thank you, Sir Ray, and all the staff for the assistance. Good luck at sa lahat na lahat na po. More power and blessings po sa inyo. That's Miss Pearl Grace Bikasan from the University of Baguio. Now, on to our NPLEX RN alert. This time around, let's talk about methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Now, remember, MRSA is a type of bacterial infection that is resistant to several antibiotics. But however, even if it's resistant to antibiotics, the treatment would also involve the use of antibiotics. So who are at risk? Now, those people who live in crowded places or they are, for example, in military barracks or they get into some unhygienic places, like for example, if you are... Um, fond of going to low cost power. A lot of people would usually be in the wet area. That's sometimes where you get this. And for those who are with prolonged hospitalizations or with prolonged nursing home stays, they are usually at risk for MRSA. So MRSA occurs in daycare centers, residents of daycare centers, athletes, military barracks, and it also occurs in people who inject drugs, have surgery, or who receive inpatient care which simply means that their first line of defense, their skin, is usually broken. So what are the common manifestations? Remember, swaps are there's usually swelling. And since there is infection in the area, the skin is warm to touch in that area. And since this is a type of infection, it's accompanied by fever. And then the area is usually painful and red. So take note that the treatment for MRSA would be your VTL. Vancomycin, trimethoprim, sulfamethoxazole, and linezolid. Now, all, of, all you have to remember about the side effects of these is that more often than not, these antibiotics would alter the pH of the GIP. And any drug that alters the pH of the GIP would usually cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And all of these three can potentially cause bleeding. So note for signs and symptoms like uh, dark tarry stool, or hematuria, and pay particular attention also to the fact that your vancomycin may potentially cause your vancomycin flushing syndrome or 
Redman syndrome. That's due to the rapid infusion or administration of the drug. So if this is administered through IV, then slow down the rate so that it doesn't cause your vancomycin flushing syndrome. Now, if left untreated, MRSA can be fatal because it leads to sepsis. So it's very important that we implement contact plus standard precautions. So before we use the concepts that we just learned using our functional concepts method, let me share with you some nice messages from those who use my book, NCLEX RN311, the Next Generation Quick Fix Edition. Good morning, Sir Ray. Pasado po ako. Walang hanggang pasasalamat po sa inyo, sir. Binasa ko po lahat ng binigay ni Ms. Joanne Pointers at 311 New Edition one week before ako mag-exam. Alam ko po, di ako papasa ng 85 questions kaya nag-desal ako na sana umabot ako ng 150. Nag-stop ako sa 101 and case study po, bow tie. Hindi ko po alam bakit ako nakangiting tumayo kahit alam kong pwede naman na bagsak o pasado ako. Okay? Now, on to our Sample case number 19. Which of the following observations in a client from a military barracks? Now, that should give you a clue that this client is coming from an area where the hygiene could be questionable, would confirm the diagnosis of methicillin-resistant staphylococcus aureus. Is it one? Flat discolored area on the skin. Now, if flat discolored area on the skin could be a macule, it could be uh, harmless. It could be associated with aging, so that's not necessarily associated with MRSA. Collection of pus below the skin surface that could indicate an infection. We, we can more likely consider this. Three, rounded brush with alternating red and white color. This is what we describe as bullseye rush. Very typical of clients who have been bitten by ticks, those who have been to the woods or to the forest. So we could be considering Lyme disease for option number three. And four, pinhead size dome shape ruby colored papule with pale halo. Okay, so um, your pinhead size, dome shape, ruby colored papule with pale halo could be associated with cherry angioma. Once again, these are small capillaries that are dilated and this could be associated with aging. Once again, they're not harmful. So the best answer therefore is number two, collection of pus below the skin surface. Now, if you want to learn more from our system, please join me and take our 10 day challenge to pass the NGN through our Quick Fix Bootcamp. It's gonna be from November 13 to 24, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. in our new home. And that's gonna be at Mount Crest Hotel in Baguio City. So join our hundreds of thousands of puzzlers from 35 countries and counting who are passing the next generation NCLEX through our system. And of course, don't forget if you are preparing for NGN, you have to learn how to study using technology. And with the Ray Yapo system, our learning tools are published by world-renowned publishers. And we have our own learning management system that covers all the concepts and subject areas that is usually covered that are usually covered on the actual test. And the most important thing, the feature of this learning management system that I'm so proud of is that it's being updated on a monthly basis. And of course, if you want to maintain your focus when you're preparing for your test, remember to be in a conducive environment. And here at Ray Gapos Review System, we maintain our number of students, in our class so that it becomes conducive and we have our own NJN simulation room. So may I invite you to join our next generation NPLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NPLEX RN. Our fee starts at 3,499. Your choice of live face-to-face -face class, virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, the use of our QBank, my three books, plus NGN strategies and sample questions by me, okay? And of course, You'll get to attend my free quick fix session. It's done three days every month. You can attend it repeatedly if you want. Your choice of weekend or weekday schedules. And most importantly, it's unlimited until you pass. So once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapu saying, thank you for joining me in this learning and teaching session. See you in my next video.